I'm going to be beating Blocks Fruits Hardcore mode, and here's how. We can only use common and uncommon fruits, which I get to wheel spin after I beat a boss. My stats must also match the bosses, and here's the kicker. If I die three times in one C, then I have to restart the entire C from the beginning. But luckily, when I beat a boss, I gain one point, which I can use towards or custom shop. Without further ado, let's begin. First things first, though, apparently a fruit has spawned, so let me see what's cupping around here. Oh, it's a flame fruit. Oh, this thing needs to leave me alone. So against the Gorilla King, we get 75 stats. But before I even decide what I want to invest in, let's go ahead and see what ore fruit is going to be. All right, give me something decent, like a flame fruit or something. But then again, like it's the Gorilla, so it doesn't really matter. No way it's actually going to give me the flame fruit. Ah, oh, it's going to give me Falcon. So one cool thing about this challenge is that I still have not maxed out some of my fruits, and the majority of them be in my common and uncommon fruits. So my Falcon fruit is not maxed out at all. We do get 75 stats stats so i'm gonna put a whopping 50 into our blocks roots and 25 honestly i'm gonna put it into our defense that could be a little bit of trolling but it should be fine so we only get wind burst right now which is perfectly fine honestly if anything this is great this is probably the best boss for me to get falcon against so we're just gonna stay up here wind burst it up and just uh chill yeah we're just gonna be vibing bro all right just one more hit to go there we go so after beating the gorilla king we now have one point so with that point we can decide to either either buy a stat reroll or 50 stats or we could just decide to save our points and i feel like early on or best bet i get in points and stacking them up is going to be right now so i'm gonna save my one point and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and fight bobby now so let's go ahead and spin or fruit bobby is another easier one but you know he could still beat us pretty easily if we're not careful but we just got our best fruit all right so we got ice let's go this is huge let's get 90 stats so i'm gonna put a good whopping 60 into blocks fruits and the remaining 30 into melee let's get our energy up a little bit because it's a little lackluster and luckily for us our ice is awakened so i'm gonna take complete advantage of that all right absolute zero glacial surge and there we go point number two is ours all right mr saw let's see what we gotta fight you with what is our fruits going to be it's going to be a dark oh dark's not bad sadly my dark fruit is not awakened but you know it is what it is right we take what we can take so equip or dark fruit plus we get 135 stats 100 of them bad boys are going straight into our blocks root and 35 is going to go into melee a little weak defensively but it's okay i'll start splitting it up amongst uh melee and defense in a little bit for now though this hopefully should be good we're going to start off with a dark bomb into the black hole the good thing about saw is he has literally zero range so as long as we don't get into his range for him to use his little saw move we should be good so yeah if we keep him right here we're chilling let's charge up our dark spirit bomb how did he get in the house oh wait he got through how did you get over there i'm using that dark spirit bomb in the air yes sir -ski. i'm mad low on energy right now but he's super weak let's just throw some dark rocks into the black spiral i need to get enough energy for dark bomb all right yeah I missed dark dark rocks. Why why am I missing? Black spiral. Yeah. <laughs> okay, time to fight Yeti. It is important to note as well, though, that we do have three points. So if I want to take a risk, I can roll for a random fruit, which by the way, I can keep permanently. Hmm, do I risk it or do I save for like five points where I can roll for an epic plus fruit? I actually just don't know. I've invested quite a lot of stats into my blocks fruits by now, so I don't even think I'm gonna invest into a random sword. I'll probably save up for a fighting style at most mm, i actually i don't even know what i don't know my strategy you know what i believe in my rng i am cashing out all three of my points in order to roll for a random fruit it's possible we could get kitsune leopard anything really wait 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 guys <laughs> guys all right so we managed to pull leopard and i'm also gonna get myself 30 stats so i'll put a mm, honestly i'm just gonna put 15 in melee and defense and i know what you're thinking leopard is too op acer you can't use that while i did just get really crazy luck honestly i agree so what i'm gonna do is i'm only gonna allow myself to use leopard for three fights and i can save those fights for later so honestly i'm gonna use the leopard for should i even bother i feel like yeti is not worth using one of my leopard lives i don't think i don't think yeti 
is worth using my leopard fruit again. So we're going to go ahead and roll here for a random uncommon, common, whatever. And we'll use whatever we get here. We're going to save the leopard for later because you never know, especially for these later bosses like Longma. I'm going to want leopard. We got sand. OK, sand is pretty decent. I will definitely take this. This will help out a lot against somebody like this. Yeti is very easy, just like Gorilla King. We just got to stay back and just guide him out. Luckily, sand. Yeah, it, it, it's really good for this. And let's go ahead. Heavy sand. Easy as pie. Now we're back to one point. Mob leader time. Let's go ahead and spin or random fruit here. And we get smoke. I swear I fight this dude with smoke all the time, bro. Give me my smoke fruit. And we get another 30 stats. Should I put? I don't even know what to do. I'll put 15 into defense. Like, I want to be very tanky because if you die, I just I don't want to restart any of these Cs. So, I'll, yeah, I'll do 15 in defense and 15 in melee. I feel like this is a good enough melee stat for us for now. I'm just going to focus on uh, blocks roots and defense after this for a bit. All right, though, Mr. Mob Leader, I hope you're ready to get clapped. Yeah, we're doing good damage, bro. I'm just going to stay in the air, hit the smoke bomber, and there's nothing he can do. He's got no type of range, no projectiles, nothing. How are you a mob leader and you don't got a gun, bro? Step up your game. All right, and get what? Well, get, get him out of here. Thank you. We are now at Marine Fortress. Who are we going to fight Mr. Vice Admiral with? Oh, the chop fruit? That's, that would be fire if we could block his sword attacks, but he's a boss, so it goes through or like immunity. That is pretty annoying. So honestly, I'm not going to take any risks. I'm going to put, honestly, I'm going to put all 30 of our stats into defense. I'm not taking no risks. And we get the chop fruit. Nice, nice. Tackle. Dance. Yeah, dance all over him. Dance all over him. We got to dodge his little triple slice. Yeah. Hit the party incorrectly. Dodge that. Dance. Dodging and weaving. Hit the party. All right. After this party barrage, I should have him here with dance. Yep. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. Now, I am not excited for this boss saber at all. A part of me wants to use one of my leopard lives for this. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna... Should I risk it? We do have three points right now. So I could roll for another random fruit or I could even buy a boss skip. A boss skip couldn't... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and roll our fruit here. Depending on what we get will depend whether or not I use my points. That's kind of metagaming a little bit. I do not care. Bike is not the best fruit to use in here. It is not the best fruit to use in this room at all. I have definitely fought him with spike before and definitely gotten clobbered. So I definitely think I'm going to use my points for something here. And there's a couple things we could do. We could buy 150 stats for three points, which will make us significantly stronger with the spike fruit. We could buy a random fruit or we can buy a boss skip. You know what? I'm feeling lucky after getting the leopard fruit. So I'm going to cash in all three of my new points. And we're going to go ahead and roll for a fruit. Please, please do not cook me. Please do not cook. Sound? Sounds not bad. Phoenix? Phoenix isn't bad. I got sound. Barely got sound too. All right. So now that we have the sound fruit, we'll have it for three fights. And obviously I'm going to use one of those fights right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheese it a little bit and try to fortissimo on this corner so I can get my tempo meter up. All right, cool. Our tempo meter is up. We also get 250, 210 stats. Sorry. So I'm going to put 150 into blocks fruits and 30 into defense and melee. And we're going to, we're going to fortissimo again because I, I kind of messed up a little bit. All right. Our tempo meter is up. Let's just spam, bro. We're just, we're just keeping that boy in the corner. I don't want him anywhere near me. I can't even see. It's so golden. Stay away from me. Yo, get this man away from me. I don't like it. This, this fruit is too vibrant for me to use in this area, dude. It's actually tripping me out so bad. I'm hitting the monkeys all around us. Wait, my temple meter is going down. Glorious harmony. Don't keep me stuck for too long. Rhapsody notes. Symphonic radius. <laughs> that was, that was a little too intense for my liking. All right. Well, I have two more lives for this sound fruit. So I, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be nice having it right now. I, I can't have it forever though. Ooh, okay. Well, we got to go ahead and fight the warden now. The warden is not a boss. I would want to use either my leopard or sound fruit on. So let's go ahead and see. And we get smoke. Smoke is good. Smoke is really good against him. We get 30 stats or 60. Sorry. So I'll put, mm, I'll put 40 in blocks fruits and 20 into defense. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, this should be relatively easy in theory. I just got to stay in the air and smoke bomber him. And he's really like cooked. There's nothing brother can do. All right. Liberation. Smoke blast. And finish him off with a nice smoke bomber. Cool. That's it for the normal warden. Now we got to fight the chief warden. What fruit are we going to use for him? It's looking. Oh, no. Not the falcon fruit. Okay. Well, that's not fantastic. 
fantastic, but I, I guess it's not too terrible. We'll go ahead, use the falcon fruit, and we get 30 stats. So I'll put all 30. Honestly, I'll put it into blocks roost. I don't think I'm gonna need defense for him. Might need it for Swan though, who I'm pretty worried about. So eh, we'll see how things go. If worst comes to worst, I do still have lives on my other fruits. Oh no, he's gonna get me. Haha. <laughs> and win the burst. All right, we have three points now. I think I'm gonna save them up though. So I have two decisions here. Either I could use my sound fruit, which only has two more fights left in it, or I can roll for just a common. Well, let's just go ahead and roll our common because if we could get something like flame or dark or ice, I can kind of get behind that sand. Is sand good enough? We might die with sand. I'm going to try it. I'm going to take a bit of a risk because I want to try to save as many points as possible. There's always a like chance that I might want to get like a sword or like a fight and sell or something then reset my stats. So I'm going to need a lot of points for stuff like that. So I'm going to just save it for now. Well, we get 30 stats. I'm going to put it into defense. I just I just don't want to die. <laughs> That's really what it is. I'll sacrifice a little bit of damage if it means I just don't die. Got to play this super strategically because he does have like a track and move. Yep. Dodge that. I need to. I keep missing desert funeral. What is wrong with me? Oh, man. My lack of energy is definitely cooking me up right now. It's OK, though. I don't need to run super fast. His moves are pretty easy to dodge. I just got to make sure that I'm constantly moving. All right. I think he might be done here. Dodge that. Bam. And put you in a funeral. Oh, four points now. OK, we're doing a lot better than I thought, but <laughs> obviously we're fighting the easier bosses right now. It's definitely going to get a lot harder soon. Oh, well, 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 we got to fight the magma admiral. We got 330 stats, so I need to put at least 230 into blocks roots or else we're going to be way too weak. And then I'm going to put a good 50 into defense and melee. Yeah, that's right. You guys aren't crazy. For once, Acer is actually doing pretty decent stat investments. I do have four points, so I could go for a risky roll here, but I think honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and spin. Magma Admiral isn't too scary, but if the fruit I get is really bad at range, then I might have. Ooh. Ooh. Spring sounds like a really easy way to die. <laughs> spring sounds like a really easy way to die. Let me see Spring's move set again. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could die really easily with using Spring. So I'm going to use one of our sound lives. That might be kind of stupid, but I'm going to do it. Nah, you, you can't stop me. All right, with sound, we should be able to beat him pretty easily. We just got to make sure that we dodge his fists. So charge up our tempo meter. Yes, sir. Rhapsody notes. Ooh, I just took his fist to the face straight up, dude. Oh my gosh, that brother just punched me. Thank goodness I have defense, though. If I did not, I would be cooked. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna leave, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, nice, nice aim, buddy. Fortissimo, and we're gonna fly away yet again. Just stay in the air. Is he not gonna, are you not even gonna try? Like, what's going on? Yeah, look at you. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're in the underwater city now. We have five points, so we could finally do one of our extreme rolls. Hmm, do I, honest, I don't know. We do need a new fruit, though, because we're about to run out of sound. We're about, to, we're about to run out of our permanent sound. So I think having another backup fruit would be good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one random fruit and save the other two points. So we still got two points. So we're saving them for later. But for now, I just want to get our arsenal of fruits even stronger. So let's see if we could get a pretty solid fruit. Hopefully it is very possible, by the way, that we could roll like a common or uncommon. But it looks like we're going to get spider. OK, I am actually OK with this. I'm actually OK with this. I'm pretty sure I have my unawakened spider right now. I actually don't know, but either way, this is fine. I'm actually going to use one of its lives right now. We do get to 225 stats, so I'm going to put 200 into blocks roots and 25 into defense. Our energy is more than good. I don't have to worry about it right now. All right, the thermal laceration. It's your time to perish, Mr. Fishman Lord. You got to go ahead and be a little smart. All right, cool. He used that move. Heavenly punishment. Is it? I'm pretty. Is this awakened? I don't even know, bro. I'm just doing things. This route is so good, though. I'm so happy I got this. Just gotta wait for him to use his little. Yep. There we go. Thermal laceration. Hold the silk prison. White and heavenly punishment, and he's out of here. Awesome. So or fruit arsenal is really good. Honestly, we're getting really lucky. If I ever do this challenge again, because you guys like it, then it's probably gonna be a lot worse for me the next time I try this. But hey, I'll, I'll definitely take this luck right now. Oh, Roy E. Whisper. 
Ah. Let's see what fruit we have to fight him with. We get 225 stats with this as well, which is pretty good. Can I get like, ooh, Okay, I don't know about, I don't know about spin fruit, guys. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about spin fruit. I for sure, no matter what, am gonna put 125 into defense and 102 blocks fruits. I think that's a pretty balanced way to distribute our stats. Oh, I don't even have the final move for this. I'm such a noob. Let me see this thing again. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think spin, I don't think spin is gonna cut it at all. Oh, so I don't want to use one of my spider lives. I do have three points. So I, ah, uh, but do I want to waste my three points? I say waste, but like, it's very, it's again, very possible. I just get a really bad fruit. We've just been getting really lucky so far. Whatever, man, I'm gonna take the risk. I, I feel like I have no choice. I'm gonna take the risk. Let's see if maybe I should have just stuck with spin. Oh no, are you for real? Well, <laughs> I got perm chop for three fights now. Yeah, I knew my luck was not gonna last for much longer. However, honestly, since my chop is maxed out and it's a higher mastery and spin so i'm not too upset about this i'm just not very happy let's go ahead and fight mr whisper okay yeah damage isn't too bad i mean yeah that's a that's a flat 4500 combo right there that's not bad i don't know if i could take a bazooka shot but i definitely can take a couple of his punches Oh, oh my gosh, that bazooka just did half my HP. Cool out, Mr. Whisper. Dang. I'm gonna dance on your grave now, sucker. Yeah. Back to one point. Yahoo. Oh boy. And now, yeah, this is... Ugh. Our bosses for the rest of this sea are gonna be a little challenging. Do I want to use my spider, leopard, or anything? First things first, let's see what we roll off like our basic roll. Because if we could get something like not bomb, I, I don't think bomb is gonna cut it at all, actually. All right, though, I think I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my spider lives so we get 225 stats i'm gonna put 125 into blocks roots and 100 into defense and there goes another one of our spider lives unlucky but you know we we take what we could take gotta be very careful not to get hit by any of his moves yeah get weaved heavenly punishment solid demaglia <sighs> oh you thought you were him with that i saw you all right dodge that silk prison eternal white and thermal lacerations back up he's still alive you know what i'm gonna hit you with your own uh your own style of move yeah take this heavenly punishment and i got the pole who do you think i am final boss of the first seed mr cyborg let's see what kind of fruit we can get bomb again smoke can i beat him with smoke this is gonna be risky i don't know if i should be taking these risks against cyborg luckily though we still have three lives in this sea so even if i die to cyborg i still have another two shots to fight him so i'm gonna take the risk we get 300 stats against him so i'm gonna put dude i'm gonna two defense <laughs> If I even get hit, okay, never mind. We're putting an extra one in there. Yeah, we don't like that number around here. And then I'll put 99 into Blocks Fruits. I don't know, man. I'm just terrified of everything. If he farts, I'll be I die. Like, that's embarrassing, bruh. All right, though, let's start fighting Soy Big. Let's just try not to get hit. Honestly, we might be able to just cheese this if we just don't get hit. He's gonna use, yep. Keep using that move, bro. Ooh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Wait, Smoke is low-key kind of busted against bosses. The ring around the rosy strategy is impossible to be beat. Oh, yeah. I, I have successfully cheesed the wazoo out of Cyborg. Smoke Bomber is so busted. I was so nervous for nothing. You weren't even anything to me, buddy. Get out of my game. I never want to see you around these parts again. We get another 75 stats from the Ice Admiral that does not exist. So I'll put 75 into... Let's see, nah, I'm just gonna put 50 defense, five blocks fruit. And there we go. First C completed. We end up with three points left remaining. The fruits that we currently we have our leopard which we have three lives on sound which we have one life on spider which we also have one life on and perm chop which we have two lives on let's see what the second he's got for us yo i just found a phoenix fruit yeah all righty first fight of the second c is against diamond we can also now use hockey and observation hockey as well so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and it's looking like we're gonna fight diamond with the flame fruit oh i'm definitely down with this so let's equip the flame fruit and we we also get 150 stats. So I'll put 100 into blocks fruits and 50 into, eh, I'll do a split 25, 25 into melee and defense. Oh boy. All right, let's begin. Burning bullets, fire bullets. All right, diamond should be relatively easy. He has his sword, which gives him a couple dashes, which can be kind of complicated if we get hit by him. So let's just try not to get hit by him. There we go, dodge that. Let's throw him in the air with a fire column. All right, he's on half HP. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Fire bullets, burning blast. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna make this challenge a little bit more difficult. I'm not gonna allow myself to use observation hockey. Unless it's to like check their HP or something like usual. Let's see. Oh God, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I've already said it. So now I gotta do it. That's that done and done with though. Now we got four points. Honestly, I think I'm gonna, at least for this video, stay away from the swords and the fighting styles. I think we're just gonna focus on fruits. This may not be, I don't know if that's the best option, but it definitely can't be the worst. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save. Is there any bosses in this sea that I wanna skip? I kind of want to skip Don Swan. I feel like that might be kind of cheese. Okay, I, I I don't even know. Let's spin the wheel though for Jeremy. I'm actually like so stuck on what my strategy should be. Because a part of me wants to use swords and stuff just to spice up the challenge a bit. But bomb? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to use bomb. Bomb is just like such a meh fruit at this point in the game. I mean, I could try, but I feel like I'd die. And I don't want to risk any of my lives right now. All right, I'm going to cash in three points. We're going to go ahead and do a normal spin. And with this spin, I'm going to lock out the a random fruit spin so this is gonna be my last random fruit spin i can still use five points to get a random fruit epic plus wheel spins after this but we're gonna be cutting this part off because i don't want to only rely on this to spin you know i want to i want to spice up the game a little bit so let's see what we can get are you for real i'm not even writing that down i'm, I'm not even gonna write that down bro i just burned three points for nothing and now we can't use any more random fruit spins all right so i'm definitely not gonna use falcon and i'm definitely not gonna use bomb so i guess i'll use one of my perm chops i have one more after this doesn't really matter i'm fine with that we also get 300 points here so i'm gonna put 115 to blocks fruits and 75 into mm, should i even bother putting anything in melee i don't think i should if i decide to start using like fighting styles then i may as like at that point i would probably just buy a sat reset as well so i think i'm just gonna focus on defense and blocks fruits for now all right though jeremy it's time to tussle let's go box all right oh okay nice hit yeah we're doing some solid damage right now not having any uh observation hockey is making this challenge actually a lot better i feel like observation hockey is a little cheap at least for hardcore mode all right i'm not playing this super strategically but we still managed to pull out a dub so i'll take it from this point on i don't think any of the bosses we're gonna fight are gonna be bums so i'm a little bit worried uh, we only have so many fruits left should i bother using my perm chop for fajita i don't know i'm kind of worried about fajita actually well, let's spawn or, or spawn spin or default wheel we can get ice i'll be diamond is not no 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 we're not doing diamond for some reason and don't ask me why maybe it's because i just don't like this fruit that much as you can see i only have one move like in cross doesn't count that's just a necessity transformation move i am not fighting fajita with only the diamond fruit you're crazy so i'm pretty much forced here to use one of my permanent fruit slots you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it i feel like i can pull out a dub using the chop fruit against fajita i might be a little too crazy but you know i'm gonna try it we get 225 stats though so mm, 150 defense 75 blocks fruits. That sounds about right. Just gotta, gotta get really tanky or else I'm cooked. So uh, let's 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 do this, Fajita. Let's fight. Oh, damage is leaving a little to be desired right now. I'm not gonna lie. Thank goodness I'm investing in defense in this challenge, or else it would be a lot worse right now. I just have to be very careful for his that move. That move. I gotta go. I gotta go. Dodge all of that. Dodge all of that. Nice. Now we're coming back in and we're hitting you with the combo. The party into the dance, into the tackle. Yes, Sursky. All right. He's dropping some more meteors. We're going to dodge him. Party dance. Oh, no. More meteors, bro. Dang, chill. Okay. Our defense stat is definitely clutching like crazy right now. Come on. Can we finish him off with the party? Let's go, dude. Honestly, I'm pretty sad that we're out of chop because, uh, yeah, chop is actually pretty good. It's not too terrible. Oh, boy. I don't even want to go through this door right now dude i do have three points and i decided for the boss skip that i can only have one boss skip per c so if i decide to boss skip here i cannot boss skip anyone else which means i can't boss skip tide keep which i am a little worried about because if i don't get the right fruit for tide keeper that's pretty much a guaranteed death oh dang i actually don't know what to do here i don't have enough points to uh spin for an epic fruit so we're gonna spin for just like or guarantee spin for now if we could put like ice chop can chop clutch up against Don Swan, though? Don Swan is too good in close range, dude. Let me think about, of the, about the bosses. I can't even speak right now because I'm getting scared. Let me think of the bosses that I might want Leopard against because we only have a couple of bosses left. I definitely want to have Leopard for K-Queen, Longma, and oh, I kind of want a beautiful pirate as well.
Wow. Yeah, I just don't think I can afford using one of my leopard slots here. Sound is still pretty good though. Sound might be able to clutch up. I think that's gonna be your best bet here. All right, we're gonna use our last sound slot. I'm not happy about this, guys. I'm very scared, I'm not gonna lie. A part of me really just wants to skip this, but I wanna be very safe with my boss skips, plus my points as well. Cause again, we only have so many battles left. All right, Don. Oh, I'm not allowed to use observation hockey, but let's go, Don Swan. My strategy is pretty much, yep, there we go. Dodge that. Rhapsody notes, glorious harmony it up. And, oh my gosh, he caught me. Wait, I forgot about my stats. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I'm just gonna put 225 in defense. I don't care. All right, dodge everything with the tempo meter. Oh, not tempo meter. I can't even speak English, bro. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I meant uh, Pratissimo though. Just stay in the air. Wait for him to use his move. There we go. Rhapsody notes. And then we're going to throw a glorious harmony on this bozo. Yeah, as I said, like he, he has so much spam. You got to be really careful. Okay, yep. Rhapsody notes. And I'm not even going to try to get close. I'm just going to get even further away. Our energy is running a little bit low. So I got to be a little safe here. Come on, just use your ability. Yo, he caught me midair. Luckily, it didn't do any damage because he hit me like right outside the hitbox but all right glorious harm it i just missed i missed my whole thing bro get me out of here so the issue with prestissimo is that when you're in it you don't gain energy so if i try to oh i won well anyways as i was saying if i try to run away too too much and i'm gonna run out of energy so i have to be very careful oh boy that was a that was a fight but luckily i played the range game we played the slow game and the smart game having defense definitely helps guys who would have thought next up is smoke admiral he gives us a lot 450 stats here dude i'm gonna put 250 in block should I put 250 in blocks roots? Yeah, why not? And then we'll do 150 in defense and 50 in melee. Sounds about right. Let's spin our wheel though, see what we can get. If we can get a chop fruit, I will take that. If we can get a smoke fruit, I will take the bomb. I don't really have a choice here. I'm not using my last spider roll. I'm not using leopard. So I think I'm gonna have to stick with bomb. I only got four points as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to stick with bomb. I'm not excited with this. As you guys can tell, I've been trying my hardest to avoid bomb. Not because bomb is bad or anything, but I don't know. I just feel like I at this point in the game it's kind of it's kind of not the safest type of move but it's okay or not move but ability well, let's just try to set up a whole bunch of traps target bomb push you away yeah do all your jumping i'm gonna uh, you know explosive jump and then i'm gonna uh, drop a more land mines you know what i mean grab ya okay maybe i shouldn't have been so afraid of bomb because i'm kind of cooking him right now you know what though i'm gonna charge it up bro i'm gonna hit that self destruct come over here i know you want to bam Ooh. Bro just lost his entire soul. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, never mind, bro. Bomb fruit is it. This is the goaded fruit. I misunderstood this fruit all along, bro. This fruit was for real, man. I did not think I would do so much damage, dude. Well, we got five points right now. We're about to go ahead and swing ourselves over to the Winter Castle to fight the Ice Admiral, or Awakened Ice Admiral, I should say. I'm not super afraid of the Awakened Ice Admiral, especially since we have so many stats right now. Like we're pretty strong. We do good damage. We're tanky. So I don't really want to spend any of my points for a fruit right now but let's see let's see what we roll really quickly if we can get something flame please give me flame i don't want spike spike's not gonna cut it i mean it might maybe i'm underestimating spike i don't think so bro <laughs> i don't think so we only have seven bosses after this though so i think it's in our best interest to use or five points here and spend an epic plus fruit i know you guys are probably wondering where the rares are um they didn't make the cut <laughs> so sorry i didn't want to put i feel like the rares i mean they're not that bad i could have put them in here but Mm, nah. Well, we're out of points. All five of my points gone. Let's spin. Give me something good. Don't don't make it so I wasted my points, please. That would suck. Doe? D yes. Don't give me shadow. No. No. Well, we got the shadow fruit now. Don't get me wrong. Shadow is pretty cool. It'll do good damage. And honestly, it's probably more than enough to take down the Awakened Ice Admiral. But Doe would have been so much cooler, right? Like, <laughs> like I like Doe, dude. Well, I'm definitely going to use shadow for this fight. We also get 750 stats bro so honestly i want to just get tank i want to just get like the, the model yield up so let's put 500 into blocks fruits and 250 into defense and yeah bro it's your time somber rebellion shades nest okay so that's what that move does and nightmare leash is the one that like heals me right yeah sorry guys i completely forgot about this fruit and how it worked <laughs> but i know this one is like my domain expansion so this is a really good move corvus torment yeah just stay honestly this is the perfect area for me to use shadow because it's super close off so he's kind of forced to stay in the smoke area nice we could take all of these hits honestly somber rebellion nice and then corvus torment is back up and that should just be it for you bro like there's no way you're surviving this corvus torment bro yup gg gg 
GG. Yeah, Shadow was really good. Don't get me wrong. I just want to know. Okay, I'm not. Oh, I'm worried about Tide Keeper. So there's two. I have a couple plays I could do here. I could either use the Spider Fruit, which I only have one like fight left with that fruit, or I can use one of my Shadow. I don't think I want to use one of my Shadow though. And I fought Tide Keeper with Spider before. It's definitely pretty good against them. Shadow would be way better though. And I'd rather like what else am I gonna use like Spider for? Okay, I think I'm gonna use Shadow here because I think Spider would be better off used against like Island Empress or something. So let's just spin really quickly um, and see what we get because, oh wait, this is the wrong, <laughs> wrong wheel spin, my bad. This is the right wheel spin. Let's spin really quickly and see what we get because if we could get like a flame fruit or something, do not give me spike. Bro, bro, it's right there. Flame would have worked. Flame would have been perfect actually. Flame would have worked. I'm, I'm just gonna use the shadow fruit though. I, I genuinely think it's worth taking our shadow slot here. But then again as well, we still have three lives. This is the final second C battle. So I can't risk it for the biscuit. We could try to fight him with the spike fruit. Is it is, is that the play? Do we do we risk using the spike fruit here? Let me see the spikes moves again. Yeah. Eaten, eaten. <laughs> I don't think this is the play, guys. I don't think this is the play. I genuinely just don't see myself winning. But you know what? For the name of the challenge, we're gonna try at least once. We're at least gonna try once with the spike fruit. This could be bad. Well, uh, <gasps> my stats, bro. See, I almost did a stupid 225. So let's put 200 into blocks roots. And uh, should I just put 25 into blocks roots? Mm, nah, I'll put it into defense. It might seem silly. It is. So I'm uh, sorry. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I'm pacing myself, bro. I'm scared. Let's do this, though. The spiky barrage. Let's throw the spike summon as well. Oh, we're doing some. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're doing some damage. Spiky ball. Wait, what is that? I've actually never used spiky ball before. I did not know that's what it did. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I mean, this isn't too terrible. It's definitely not great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not great. But I would be lying if I sat here and pretended like this is impossible to deal with. The range on this is pretty good. What I'm really worried about, though, is the sea, uh, sea dragon. I called it sea dragon. The sea beast? Because if the sea beast spawns, then we're going to start having some problems. Oh, my gosh, dude. He, I mean, he's taking a little bit of damage, but I'm getting pretty weak. I'm low on energy. I definitely should have put more of my stats into energy for this run. I'm really worried. I don't know why. Like, I'm actually terrified of this uh, CB spawn. Yup, here it is. Frick. This is not good. This is not good at all. Yup. Yup. Look at this. It's so stupid. And then he, I hate that so much. And I can't stay back and try to heal. I'm kind of forced to just stay in the battle. Ooh, I mean, I'm, I'm taking some of these hits, but it's not looking good. I'm definitely feeling the hardcore aspect right now. Dude, I mean, this is just not fair. He's so weak too. He's so weak. I can't whirlwind because he'll just, he'll beat me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm cooked. There's just, there's no way from this position I can win. I'm out of energy. I'm pretty much out of HP. I could try to like, he, he aimed at, he's literally better. He's better than me. I did good damage. I just, uh, I can't. Okay, he, he spawned back. Spike summon. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I gotta dodge that beam. I gotta dodge those, man. Spike summon. Spike barrage. Dude, this is actually so close. Okay, he screamed. That means he can't laser right now, right? So let's charge up the spike summon. No! Dude, it was so close. Oh, I'm actually heartbroken right now, dude. I knew it was gonna be difficult. Don't get me wrong. That's why I did it to, you know, impose the challenge more. But I'm so upset right now. Did he heal too? Nah, he's still on low HP. So let, oh, let's, ju let's just end this, bro. Oh, he was literally one shot. That is the first death of the video. And on the final boss of the second C. So close to perfect victory, guys. We were so close. It's all right, man. It happens. Thank goodness I have three lives and not one though jeez maybe i should only do one should i only do one life i might just do only one life actually let's do it let's do only one life what's the worst that could happen <sighs> well after suffering that painful defeat it's time to take on the third c we got two points now oh my gosh well let's spin the default spin really quickly let's see oh we got spike again dude like what is uh, i haven't gotten actually did i get ice i think i have gotten ice this video i think i've gotten every i think i've gotten every fruit here so i can't be too upset but give me a away from spike man all right so cool thing right is after this we have six bosses left in this video we have three leopard slots one spider and two shadow so of course that's six we can save the, the fruits that we currently have for those battles i don't think using one of our slots against stone is wise he's probably easily the weakest boss in the 
this entire seat. So we're going to we're going to use Spike. I mean, we don't really have a choice. I could use Falcon because I still have three of those. But let's be real. We're not using them. And I really want to save my points for a potential boss skip on maybe beautiful pirate or longma. But we'll have to see. We get 225 stats, though. All right. So we get 225 stats right now. So I'm going to put 65 into blocks roots. Finish that up. And then we get another 160, which I'll put into melee this time because our energy is starting to show the issues right now. Let's do this, bro. Start off with summoning some spikes, spiky barrage, and then into the spiky ball. Yep, use all of the moves that you gotta use, gangy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not liking all the damage he's doing right now. Why does he? I forgot he did that. Like, he could spam those bullets, bro. Okay, yeah. So he really just spams his little bullet shots. So I just have to make sure that I play around that more. So just shoot, just shoot. There we go. He shot. So we're gonna use or kit. His intervals are completely random. He doesn't have like a specific time that he shoots. He just kind of does whatever he wants to do. Kind of rock with that. Okay, okay. We're playing. We're I'm starting to adapt to his play style a little bit. I, I came into this a little stupidly. I'm not gonna lie. My brain was kind of turned off. It's coming back though, guys. The brain is turning back on. Thank goodness I have a defense stat or else i would not be having a fun time right now Ooh. okay he's on red dodge that yep he's gonna shoot again right about now yep spiky ball and dodge that yeah you thought you were slick with that one i saw it in your eyes you're like yeah i'm gonna get him this time nope get out of my game buddy all right so we're about to fight island empress and i can choose here whether or not i want to use shadow or string I actually don't know which one i want to choose um i feel like string will be better against kilo admiral so i'm gonna use shadow i'm not super keen on this this might not be my best play but we're gonna we're gonna do it does umbridge do damage oh ooh, it does it does a good amount of damage too i low-key forgot okay well i'm gonna just chill up here i also get 375 stats which i'm gonna put all into defense i'm not taking no risks with you buddy she uses love fruit so yeah we gotta be a little smart here she did a little bit of damage i'll just take that back with nightmare leash and we're gonna explode with a corvus torment yep yep we'll just leave her in the domain we're gonna umbridge as well kind of stack that damage shades nest dodge all all of her arrows and get her hp back yeah energy is proven to be a little annoying here it's okay though corvus torment keep her inside the domain what is she doing she's like broken okay bro are you for izzy we're just gonna umbridge yep she's gonna break us out but that's fine because i can corm cormus <laughs> corvus torment into the nightmare i missed my nightmare leash rich in rich in peace my free hp that's all right though honestly i could even tank a hit here oh she just missed well that sucks yeah she she can't really do much in my uh domain expansion She's just gonna umbrage at this point. She already used her like moves. What is going on? I'm lagging out the wazoo. I'm lagging out the wazoo, but even with the lag, you don't got a chance, buddy. I'm gonna end this with a Corvus Torment. Yes, sir. Ski. Anyways, it's time to go ahead and fight Kilo Admiral. Let's spin the wheel. I mean, I'm probably gonna use my spider fruit against her, but if I got like flame, I wouldn't mind. Smoke? Mm -hmm smoke wouldn't be that bad i don't think it's really worth it though like i have no reason not to use spider here we got 225 stats here as well putting that into melee let's get that energy up and uh yeah we may as well just start thermal laceration put her into prison while we hit her with the eternal whites heavenly pun yeah she's getting hit with the whole combo and thermal la i missed yeah spider pretty much hard counters kilo admiral which is why i wanted to use it against her yeah this is pretty much a free fight She's about one HP, so I'm just gonna wrap this up with a nice eternal white. GG's. Okie dokie. So we got five points right now. I can choose to either roll for a random epic fruit or just save my points. Again, I do have one boss skip for this C. I just don't know who I want to use it on. I feel like with Shadow, I can beat Captain Elephant. And I feel like Leopard, I can beat the final three bosses as well. So yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just save my points. Should I even bother? I don't even know, bro. I'm just going to use Shadow against Captain Elephant. We got 375 stats. I'm going to put about 300 into defense and 75 into melee. And let's do this, bruh. Samba Rebellion. Nice. Nightmare Leech. I'm in the domain. Samba Rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's a part of me that even wanted to save Shadow for like a later boss and just use Leopard against him. But I don't know. They're both really good fruits. Leopard is obviously way better. I don't know, man. Shadow against bosses is kind of crazy. All right. He's getting pretty weak. I am taking a little bit of damage right now though which i'm not a huge fan of okay hit with that that's fine i need to hit this nightmare i just missed okay corvus torment i'm i'm running a little bit let's just umbridge in the shit or uh the corvus torment 
and there we go okay <laughs> look at my hp it, it was starting to get a little worrying at the end there because i missed some of the moves that i needed to hit it's all right though Ooh. okay so i have six points right now i don't want to use any of my boss skips though is that bad of me i really just want to i just want to lock in bro is that bad all right i'm adding another thing to the shop when you guys see it in a video it'll already have been a thing but i'm gonna make it so three points you can buy an extra life but you can only do that once per seat so i'm gonna use three of my points to buy an extra life so now i have two lives the reason I'm doing this is because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. I do have Leopard for the next three bosses, but I want to be extra careful because these bosses, they mean business sometimes. We get... 225 stats here though so mm, i'm not even gonna bother doing the math bro i'm gonna just put 200 in there and two uh 25 in there all right beautiful pirate it's time i'd be lying if i said i wasn't scared let's do this stuff oh i did not mean to turn that on all right body flicker yes sir we just gotta we gotta egg on the damage bro we gotta egg on the damage dodge and weave dodge and weave all right i dodged his move right there bro this fruit is so spammy i have absolutely laid the damage on this guy but he is still in his first form and we're still taking damage all right he's in his second stage now still absolutely terrified right now you can definitely tell by the way i'm playing i'm scared i'm on half hp already dude this no hockey thing is really scary why did i buy a boss skip why did i buy a boss skip bro i'm already almost out of energy he's like halfway through his second stage i mean i am i am trying to fight for my life right now all right he's a little lower than half come on man my energy bro i did have extra stat like points to put into potential stats that's four energy too. I'm like, maybe I should have used that. Okay, he's on red now. Let's just get our energy up a little bit. Throw a couple moves out. All right, he used his ability. Let's go in. This is our time. Cool, cool, cool. Get him away from me, bro. I don't want to deal with him. All right, I'm, 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 I'm egging it on. I'm egging it on. Let's go. Bro's on one HP. Finger revolver. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude, that was stressful. That was so stressful. I know to you guys, it's like, oh, that battle is so easy, you fool. But listen, with no observation hockey and just like the stress of knowing like if I die twice, Ice from this point on like the whole run is over i gotta restart from the beginning of the see it is not good on my heart bro i'm just letting you guys know right now i have four points if i die once to logma because i have two lives so i can die twice if i die once i'm using a boss skip i don't want to not have a life for a cake queen so if i die i'm using a boss skip let's do this bro logma it's your time to perish i hope with logma you pretty much just have to like really stick onto him because if you don't he's just gonna like do a lot of damage and you won't be able to do anything anyways he is a pretty easy boss if you can kill him before he starts using moves once he starts using moves that's when things get a little difficult but he doesn't have a lot of hp he does heal fast though so again you really gotta just egg it on him bruh why is he still outside of his room get back into your room bruh yeah that was super easy that was that was super easy the main reason i was scared is because you know llama could just he could be really cheesy sometimes and i, I just didn't want to deal with it final fights against k queen we got two lives technically i could just skip this right but hey i have five points who knows maybe i'll get kitsune or something really cool so let's go ahead and spin come on bro give me a da, 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 da. rumble is not gonna cut it yeah no nah. i mean rumble is really good don't get me wrong but over leopard no Ooh, okay k queen you ready i don't think she's ready i don't think i'm ready let's go let's just hit her with the main combo yes sir free 21k damage for literally doing nothing i'm a little less nervous than the previous battles because i do have two lives but i'm already about to die okay i'm playing way too aggressive right now we need to slow it down the video is not over until it's over and k queen is not an easy ba battle so i need to stop acting like she is i am i'm honestly about to die i am i am honestly about to die it's pretty difficult to dodge her little purple laser beam that she's got i died in my okay first death of the third c i still have one life after this so if i if i die right now i can fight one more time but then i'm dead for good let's let's not mess up this challenge man let's not get too aggressive yep dodge all of this dodge all of those finger revolver oh we are dodging all of the moves right now let's go end game baby Ugh, let's go let's go let's <laughs> dude i just want to end this the stress is over we've done it we've won we've died a total of two times in this video but it's okay because we still managed to pull the dub in the end if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy this video where i beat block fruits using random fruits